Hi, right, Casper here from Bose One on the 19th of January 2016. Well, I'm tasting another white burgundy, 2011 Poligny Montraché from Domaine Jean Pascal. Now, I've um, been shipping Jean Pascal wines for a few years. Um, wines made by charming Alexandra Pascal. I like them, I must say. I, mean, I think they're very unpretentious, they're very good value. Um, they offer a lot of bang for the buck, they're rich, they're generally flavoursome, mineral, expressive. What's the problem with them? There, there isn't one, and um, I'll show you this again because um, uh, I tasted, did a video on Alexandra's uh, Bourgogne Blanc from the same vintage actually. A little while ago and I wanted to show people that that is a very clever thing called a gualacil used instead of a cork has a sort of plasticky end bit a sort of softer plasticky middle bit and a soft plastic insert in the business end that goes that way into the bottle so the corkscrew goes straight into that sort of soft plastic middle um, and it's inert and wonderfully effective I, I, I think it's probably as good as a uh, screw cap but keeping the wine in good nick and certainly this is beautifully bright the colour is very vibrant for a tinge of green to that pale gold and it was, it was very reticent when I first opened it and I wonder if that is something to do with this chap uh, that it, it, you need ex, perhaps a little extra aeration uh, when you open wines that have been, uh, I'm just guessing here, but uh, certainly in the uh, hour or so that it's been open, it's it's open right, right up, it's got a, it's got a spicy aroma, almost a touch leafy actually, and Very nice, sort of uh, bit of small orange or uh, 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 aroma. So let's let's taste it. Where well, it's got delicious gingery spice nuance going right through the palate, and then this wonderful tension from within. It's slightly almost bitter lemon sort of um, at the core just keeping the whole thing nervy and lively and energetic it's um, touch of the oak mm, just round the outside and then all the business action is going on right in the middle there with them Sort of that mineral, um, really fresh acidity powering through into into a sort of long term. It's it's um, it's a wine I think that that's still coming across as as very young. I mean the, the 2011 Bourgogne Blanc, as you will know if you have seen my video tasting note of it, is absolutely delicious right now. It's big and bold and rich and really flavoursome. This is is perhaps hiding a bit. It's keeping you a bit. A little bit back. I mean, it's got that a nuttiness from from the wood, but as I say, that's that's quite unusually. It sort of surrounds the fruit. Usually, you find the wood within the fruit. Here, it's superficially, it has that nice, warm, slightly spiced woodiness just to hit I mean it's it's not dominating by any sense but then you powering out of it it's this energetic mineral um, lively rich palate uh, fruit and and acidity and um, yeah I mean interesting to follow the development of this wine and see where it's going I, I, I just you know pale still very pale in color Obviously, you know, no great maturity at all, which is interesting for a village Poligny at um, four and a bit years of age. Uh, so be fascinating to follow its its progress, really, and watch what it's going to do under this 
Gualasil. There we are. 2011 Village Poligny Montrache from Domaine Jean Pascal, themselves based in uh, Poligny, but um, I will have another glass with my dinner, I think. <laughs>